star. Yeah. Chilling with cash and cards, but somewhere lost my past. Hard not the combo gym, getting back my art. With the fury inside, you can't match my spark. So, we guard for a shot at your chest. I got the instinct to do it in this battle with death. This is my time to rise, you can't ride on my steps. I'm gonna win, and it don't matter who challenge me next. Hey everybody, do right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. So for those of you that don't know, Void Interactive released a mini clip called Arcade. I have a link to it down in the description if anybody wants to go see the full version, but uh, it's only like about a minute and 27, I think. It's essentially about a SWAT officer, which I believe is the judge character model that is just playing a little arcade game at the infamous For You gas station. I call it infamous because they hardly ever really showed off this map publicly. I mean, I played it in the alpha, but I think that this is like the first time we get a good look at the interior publicly. I mean, the last couple of videos that were featured on Void Interactive's channel have just been the gas station, which is interesting to me because I think that was the map that was probably showed off the least. If you go back and look at all the marketing material, I mean, there really isn't too much to say about this aside from the fact that Void Interactive is just taking shots at themselves. To replay the freaking arcade game, it costs $120. And to add insult to injury, you have to put in 25 cents at a time. This is why Judge pulls out an absurd amount of quarters and snarls at the fact that he has to put in a shit ton of quarters. <sighs> So yeah, I definitely chuckled at this when I first saw it. Because anytime that I look at the comment section, people are just complaining about the $120 price tag on the supporter edition. Which yes, I agree. I do think that the price tag is a bit too high for what we get. Honestly, the supporter edition would have been way more worth it if the mouse pads that came initially with it weren't limited. Now I gotta say that those supporter edition mouse pads were pretty sexy. I'm still mad that I didn't get one, but I mean at least Void Interactive gave me one that's unique to me. As far as I know, nobody has this. It would have been nice to get one of those too. And the alpha was wasn't under NDA. I think I probably would have been promoting it more. I think it definitely would have sweetened the deal because I do like the rest of what's there, but the 120 is just, I don't know, just doesn't make it for me. But anyways, did anybody else get a nostalgic feeling of screwing up in Swamp 4 and doing it over and over again until you got it right? Because that's what this kind of feels like when Judge screws up and he gets mad at the fact that he lost. Like, that's honestly how I feel. Anytime that I screwed up on a co-op mission in Swamp 4 and anytime that I screwed up on a co-op mission in Ready or Not, like, I feel like they really can captured that feeling for some reason. Maybe that's just me. But even though he loses, he wants to get back up and do it again. I mean, that's kind of like the swap four and ready or not mentality. You want to keep going until you get it right or get a higher score so that you can continue to the next mission. Come to think of it, I guess ready or not missions would be a lot like arcade games because you can't really continue unless you get a specific score, which I guess is a good analogy. Maybe that's what they were going for. Maybe I'm just reading too much into this and the guy that put this in here just really likes arcade games. I don't know. Now, speaking of the arcade game, I swear to God, I know who made this art style. I've been yelling at him in the discord did you or did you not make that end screen flower looking thing on the previous video but he won't give me a fucking straight answer i mean it's a simple yes or no but he keeps dancing around the question even though the video before when void interactive used this art style in like a secretive way because i'm assuming they didn't have permission to actually upload that he was more truthful about it so this leads me to believe that he's now under nda and they're probably paying him which this is just a guess i have no idea if any of this is true but I could definitely see him getting put on commission because he's very talented. I mean, he made this for me. It's a very cool animation that I show off on my Twitch a lot, which check on my Twitch. And he has a very unique art style that I can only recognize as his. So this is why I think that he's the one that did all these little animations, which I think are really cool. The animation itself just basically has a sprite SWAT officer shooting at two criminals and one's crouching down and the other one's shooting back with a pistol. For those of you that don't know, this is obviously the hotel map in a sprite version going up against the cartel guys i forgot the name of them but uh we've seen the actual models before in previous marketing material the only thing that i really found interesting about it is that at some point when the guy dies the screen turns red but for like a split second you can see that all the white outlines of their eyes turn red too even the guy that's actually dead so i have to wonder if this is something that has to do with carcosa somebody had to like pause this screen and then color in all the white eyes actually all the white colors get covered in red which i wonder if that points to the Ticaridia Pavonia 
I think that's what it was called, Chigoridia pavonia, where, you know, that lady dumps blood on white flowers. But yeah, I think this is something about Carcosa, but I don't know. It's interesting nonetheless. I wonder what these numbers mean. With these last couple of videos at the end of the year here, there has been a big lack of gameplay, which again, is not something that I'm interested in because I'm already playing the alpha, but I get that there are a lot of people that want to see gameplay in order for them to make a decision on whether or not they want to buy the supporter edition, which that window is slowly closing as we get into June of 2020 when the beta comes. The last couple of videos have basically all been motion capture, which I mean is cool. Like, I don't know if they're going to use these as uh, cutscenes at all, but I think a lot of people are mostly looking for gameplay at this point. Updated gameplay, not the leak shit. But overall, not a bad video. This is a Happy New Year's video, something that I'm really cool with because I can at least say that Void's marketing and PR has gotten better. But what are your thoughts on this? Did you like the cool little arcade video? Because I did. And if there's one thing of note, I think there's an error here because most of the time throughout the video there's a scar that's sitting next to the arcade machine but then towards the end it's just mysteriously vanished and i was trying so hard to see that when he was shaking the uh, machine maybe it just like fell off to the side there but i didn't see the scar anywhere like it just completely vanished i really have to wonder if they're doing that on purpose or if they are just bungling it i can't really tell but if they are just bungling it then why would they do it like is there a reason for that or just I don't know. And that's really all I got to say about this video. If you're someone that enjoys my content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below, ding the bell, jump through all the hoops that YouTube wants you to jump through. If you're someone that wants to really support me, then send me two bucks on Patreon. Trust me, it helps. Now with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.